Hello, friends. The summer heat is slowly fading away, but War Thunder is ready to warm you back up with the first fall update this year, the Sons of Attila. It brings improved visual effects, unique mechanics, and of course, numerous long-awaited vehicles for various nations. But there's one thing we'd like to say before we begin. Please welcome a new nation, Hungary. Their armored vehicles will fit into the Italian tech tree to reinforce your lineups across all BR ranges, from the very lowest to high tiers. We've been working hard to improve the realism of War Thunder, and this time around we'd like to introduce a few new mechanics. External ammo on armored vehicles like smoke grenades and suspended armament on aircraft is now entirely destructible. Depending on the impact force, a hit will lead to various results. Destruction of the impacted ammo with no explosion, a fire, or detonation. And that's not all. You can now destroy decorations and bushes mounted on vehicles. For top-tier aircraft enthusiasts, we've prepared new voice warning systems in various languages. Soviet and Russian crews often refer to it as Rita, while Betty is the popular American nickname. A female voice will now warn a pilot about G overloads, critical angles of attack, an imminent ground collision, low fuel, and many other important factors. We hope this will improve your immersion in air battles. The visual aspect of the game has been refined too. We added new effects for exhaust fumes on gun barrels, fuel leaking from damaged tanks can now burn, and trees now have more realistic foliage. The graphics overall have also been improved thanks to dynamic visual effects that change based on the lighting conditions. This time, the parade of new vehicles will begin with the most unique Hungarian newcomers. And the first is the Chaba light armored car. A powerful engine can propel this six ton machine to 65 kilometers an hour, both forward and in reverse, while its semi automatic 20 millimeter anti tank rifle can destroy targets with APHE rounds. The top of the Hungarian branch can now boast the KF 41 Lynx IFV. This vehicle is armed with a two-plane stabilized 30mm autocannon with APF SDS rounds, as well as a dual ATGM launcher that utilizes the Fire and Forget spike missiles. American and Israeli skies are now protected by improved Chaparral air defense systems. They're armed with SAMs based on the Sidewinder missiles. Four of those are ready to go, and eight more are waiting for their turn inside the hull. Another hot and, dare we say, smoking hot vehicle is the Soviet flame tank, based on the T-55. It has a flamethrower on the right side of the turret, and the ammo rack next to the driver has been replaced with a tank for the incendiary mixture. And don't worry, it still comes equipped with the standard 100mm cannon, so the firepower has only been improved. We have something new for the pilots, too. The legendary Mi-8 helicopters have arrived to War Thunder. Two powerful turboshaft engines allow it to carry a large payload, consisting of guided missiles, conventional and napalm bombs, as well as a record number of rockets for a helicopter—192. Another rotorcraft has been added to the U.S. and Chinese tech trees. The Bell OH-58D Kiowa Warrior is a strike version of the light multi-role helicopter. It features a guidance system conveniently placed above the main rotor hub, and it's armed with rockets and laser-guided missiles for ground targets, while a set of Stinger missiles protect it against enemy air. And finally, here are the new top-tier jets. The U.S. Air Force has received a new F-16, Modification C. It has a helmet-mounted display, a more powerful engine, a modern radar, and an impressive choice of suspended armament, including laser-guided munitions. On the other side of the planet, we have the MiG-29 SMT. This new vehicle has a larger fuel capacity, an advanced radar, and cutting-edge weaponry. The latter includes the R-73 and R-27ET air-to-air missiles, as well as air-to-surface TV-guided ordnance. The top ranks of Italian aircraft have been reinforced, by the AV-8B Plus Harrier attack aircraft. Its arsenal includes conventional bombs and rockets and, of course, guided air-to-air -air and air-to-surface munitions. 
As always, this is not an exhaustive list of everything we're adding with this update. War Thunder will now have rank 6 for naval forces, and some existing top battleships and cruisers will move there. We're also adding numerous other vehicles, like a new top Leopard, the 2S1 Gvazdika SPG, and the Israeli two-seater F-16. See some of them in the next shooting range this Sunday. As usual, the full changelog is available on our official website. Please subscribe to our channel, enjoy the new vehicles, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. See you!